All right, could only really get a couple today. The uh, obviously it's FOMC day today, so I only got that one hour before two p.m. to be able to trade this strategy. Um, went three trades, one win, two losses. The two losses, uh, one of them was not really the greatest setup, um, and the other one was fair and square. Took me out, but yeah, one win, two losses. Just got to let the stats play out. So statistically, uh, three out of ten trades have been failing with this strategy so pretty good so far totally expected but um anyway today's stream there wasn't much highlights but we did have mr dave teachers fx drop in to drop some hate and um yeah i mean it's just entertaining at this point seeing these grown men get all emotional and try to call certain strategies their strategies and you know they invented this no one invented price action boys it's all out there it's been done before just different names people slap on it and use them all and you know what i've been accused of taking this strategy and and you know saying that i invented it never said that but hey since that label's been slapped on me now here it is uh you know this is the micro peen box strategy whatever we call it I'm just going to take it. So here's today's highlights, boys. Not too much. Three trades um, and also a visit from Dave. Anyways, uh, goodbye. Watch the highlights. Goodbye. That is indeed a little short. Tagged in on this one. You got to be vigilant with the time frames. You know, on the 30 second, it might not look like, like one. 15 second, you got one. So just got to watch them both. Pretty good looking setup there. There we are, there's another. There we are. So that one there was sweep of these highs. It's literally any time it trades above a high or a low. Sweep of this high back here, sweep of this low over here, and then shift to the upside. And um, for those of you who's confused about the swing high and swing low points, I'm going to be explaining this all. I'll do like a little market structure video alongside the um, the strategy video just so it can really make sense. Um, once, you, once you see it, it's quite simple to see. It's just, yeah, I'll, I'll show you how it works. But basically, it's that three candle pattern that happens over and over again. So as long as you see that, that's a swing high. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. And this is a swing low. Excuse the crooked candle. But one, two, three, as long as one candle or one wick is above the two on the other side, that's a swing high. Swing low, as long as one wick or candle is below the other two on either side, that's a swing low. So um, that's the points that I'm looking for. But yes, I will have this explained for you guys in the explainer video. The one I put out yesterday was just more like a high level overview, just so you guys get an idea of what I'm doing. Um, but I'll do a detailed breakdown. I'm actually thinking I'll do it at the end of this week. It's looking very promising. It's still early days, but I think it's viable enough. And some of you guys can take this model and kind of adjust it to your own personality and your own needs as well. Uh, Ahmed is going to cut. I'll make it. You know what, guys? I'll just say it now. I'll make this strategy video for you guys on Sunday. So it'll come out on Sunday. Um, and just, just keep in mind, though, when it, it does come out, this is not concrete yet. I'm loving it. I'm using it. It's working really, really well, um, but yeah, let me just come out and say, first of all, that this is not a fully tested strategy on my part yet. So take that for what you will. If you like it, feel free to keep running it and testing it yourself to with your own parameters or the same parameters I'm using. You can forward test it together, I suppose. Yes, Dave blocked me, Eric Wang. He did. It's because I called, I found out why. It's because I called his videos long. I said that he talked too much. Uh, you know, am I wrong? I didn't say it in a disrespectful way. Am I wrong? Uh, I mean, it's just, and people say, you know, I make my videos long to weed out the lazy traders. That is just not true, man. People make videos long, number one, because maybe they're not that great at teaching. 
And number two, because they like the longer uh, video length because it pays you more on YouTube. So, yeah, ICT is the same. I make my videos, you know, three hours long. I rant on purpose to make sure to weed out the lazy. <laughs> Makes me laugh, boys. I always say, if you ever, if any trading influencer or anyone on YouTube that teaches anything says they make videos to help people, uh, just call them out because everyone on YouTube, every influencer makes videos to make money. That's what it is. Me, myself included. I mean, if I didn't make money doing this, I wouldn't be making videos. <laughs> Everyone's, everyone does things for money. Everyone. But my view is as long as you're doing something valuable for money, then that's good. It's not, doesn't have to be to help people. People should benefit from the things you do or put out there just as a byproduct of you putting videos out. It's the best way to do it. I never believe anyone who says I make these videos to help people. No, no, sir. Okay. Dave teaches. Hey, here we go. You tried telling your viewers you created a model that was clearly my work. I just don't like lies. I still did not create what I do. Never learned I see your pathetic lines. Your viewers. <laughs> All right, Dave. All right, Dave. Make sure you go find your tampons, mate. <laughs> uh, I clearly said in all my videos, guys, you guys who are watching, I clearly gave credit. I said, this is directly derived from Dave's work. So I think Dave, at your age, you better be, better be sorting out those emotional issues there, buddy. And also it's basic price action. You did not invent this, Dave. Your style of trading, but it's basic price action. And, and as a matter of fact, this came from ICT's video. First of all, is where I got the idea. And then I watch your stuff and put it all together. So. I know you're trying to protect your mentorships, but you know, that's, that's your business. You keep it on your side. You shouldn't be this upset. If your stuff really works, just go keep trading, mate. Keep trading. Who's the real grifter here, boys? No need to be emotional, Dave. Come on, mate. It's old stuff. Read a Larry Williams book, Dave. Your stuff's in there too. Come on. Come on, boys. Get out of here. I have no idea, guys. No idea. I guess, I don't know. I guess call sales are down a little bit at the moment. Pull the ruler out. I'm sorry, boys. I think Dave's got that up on me. As you know, I'm the micropene man. I think Dave's got me on that, on that front. Two minutes. Once again, apologize for the banging on the mic, boys. It's got it. it doesn't sound too pleasant. We'll fix that up for next stream. What's the win rate on the strat? Uh, at the moment, it's sitting at 82%. Uh, from my back testing, it was 71%. So it's a little bit higher this time, but I haven't had any real losing streaks yet on this account. So uh, today might be the start of a bit of a lo losing day. So far, it's hasn't quite reached my one-to-one. -one. I think I'm two losses, one win. So we'll see. I gotta give it some more time and data, but yeah, from the two and a half months of back testing I did, 71%. So far up to today, it's been 81%. There we are, there's a second loss. So one win, two losses so far. There have been, yes, there have been a few setups in here, Dave, I'm, I'm looking at. And uh, you know, I'm just hesitant because we're in that FOMC window. But yes, we've met a few, met a few criteria here. <laughs> right here, particularly sweep low, sweep high. In there, I'm very hesitant to take anything though. Still hypothetical. I'm not going to touch it because it's FMC, but a little hypothetical in here. It probably still works, to be honest. But yeah, I'm still. I've never liked trading news, guys. Never ever. Normally, if I'm trading the regular ICT strategy, I wouldn't even touch the day today. But look at this. This might just run at that take profit. Look at that. Oh, close. Um, while that's doing its thing anyway, it's not a, obviously I'm not in that trade for real. Um, someone asked, I know there's a bunch of new viewers here at the moment. I'll just do a brief explanation. So if you look at market structure on any time frame, and obviously I'm looking at the 15 second at the moment, but you're looking for if price is making 
you know, the, the lower lows, lower highs, whatever, all market structure, okay? So you're going down. If price comes below, sweeps a low here, see this swing low here, and then sweeps above, so it comes above the high and then breaks back down like that. So, so you go lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, higher, high, and then lower, low. When it does that and whips out both sides, so it whips out the, the sell side, whips out the buy side, makes that manipulation leg. That manipulation leg, once I see that, I'm drawing, pulling a fib across. And there's the fib settings, literally just 50, 30, 70. Uh, credit to yours truly, Mr. Dave Teaches FX. There's your credit, mate, if you're still hanging around. Um, and waiting for price to come back into that golden zone. And once it hits that golden zone, trigger my entry. And I'm simply targeting a one to one. So stop loss goes at the swing point of the manipulation leg where the fib is drawn across. So the stop loss goes there, and I'm targeting a one to one every time. And that happens over and over again, especially on the 30 second, 15 second. It's happening all the time. Um, so vice versa for bullish, you know, if we're going uh, up, price comes up, sweeps the high, comes down, seems to break the low, and then continues on up by breaking the high that manipulated both sides, then doing the same thing there, drawing the fib across that manipulation leg. Waiting for price to retrace into that zone, boom, and then targeting a one to one from there. So, uh, yeah, very simple. Doesn't, not requiring for myself anyway, I'm not requiring any bias or anything like that. Just taking those one to ones over and over again. And in terms of handles, JMF, handles or ticks, it doesn't really, I'm not targeting a specific number. It's just whatever that setup can offer me. So um, what I do though is I don't like the bigger swings where, it offers, where I have to have too wide a stop loss. So I'm generally looking to have a maximum stop loss of about 30 ticks. There we go. That one would have hit take profit. How funny is that? Um, I'm generally looking for a stop of 30 ticks. The stop to take profit 30 ticks at the absolute max. And what I do is I just adjust to the scale of my position accordingly so that I'm risking uh, at the very most, if it looks really clean, a $300 uh, trade. If at the And on average, I want to get $200. So between that $200 to $300 mark is what I'm looking for. Yeah, apologies about the adverts, guys. They come up at the most annoying times, eh? Uh, why the 15 second? It just offers the most opportunity for me at the moment. I'd switch between the 15 and the 30. The 30 is a bit cleaner. Uh, I do get faked out a lot less on the 30 second. But if I'm really looking for some opportunities, the 15 second uh, offers so many. So yeah, I hope that makes sense, guys. Hmm, there's a little, a little cheeky one in here. A little cheeky one in here. Maybe naughty boys. It's cutting it close though. Already touched that 70, what a shame. What a shame. Got to be quicker on the trigger, but look. <laughs> quick one-to-ones, look at that. Just a quick tap of the 70, boom. 35 ticks, oh man. Too slow on that. But like I said, it's a bit naughty to trade in between now and 2.30. I know I should have taken that 50%. I know it's happening over and over again, even during this. It's, man, look at that. <laughs> over and over again. Isn't that naughty, Langston? Just keeps working, guys. You know, guys, as fun as it is to sit here and listen to Mr. Ch Mr. Chairman Powell speak, I don't really want to be waiting around an hour until I can viably trade. So, um, good session. Good session. Two losses, one win, you know, it's good to have a little bit of realism injected into things because uh, obviously winning every single day is not realistic. Um, so, yep, pretty good. Um, the setups that were there, two of them, one of them was good, one of them was not really that good, and one of them was great. So, not too bad, down one hour on the day, but it kind of, you know, that's expected. you got to expect the losses. It wins so far 71% of the time, 82% um, of the time on this top step account. But let's see how the stats refresh today. Um, so you got to expect those losses, you know. You know, uh, three out of ten trades will be losers. So fully expected so far. But really liking it still. We'll keep testing this live on stream.
Um, and, you know, we, we can call this, uh, since Dave supposedly says that I stole this and called it my own, well, I might as well do it now. Uh, here's the micropene, micropene box strategy. The micropene box. So something like that. Um, we will be back same time tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Same time, same strategy. I'll put in some highlights there. It wasn't really too much highlights there other, other than Dave coming in here and hating. Um, but I'll put in the trades for today just for learning purposes. Put that, uh, look at that, even reacting from the 50% of that one. That's fantastic. Um, I'll put that in there so you can see it. And that'll come up in about two hours or so, the highlights video for anyone who's missed the majority of this stream. But you didn't miss much today. Anyway, take care, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, the link for Top Step 20% off plus Trading View integra integration is pinned in the chat. And if you want to get also my daily journal entries and do like a public journaling thing uh, via email, there is my daily daily email where I just journal my trading journey and keep things all publicly documented. So go along there, subscribe to that's free. Um, I'm not selling you anything. Uh, apart from my Top Step affiliate link if you choose to use Top Step. So that's it, guys. Take care. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you tomorrow, same time.